Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I am with Mike Malaska. You've seen him on the channel in a few videos already. And today we finally get down to the meat of the matter, playing better on the golf course. What a concept. I know, what a concept. <laughs> so uh, my head is uh, spinning with some things, but I'm gonna try to shut that off and play a little bit of golf and give you the added ta task of uh, helping our viewers out through helping me. Okay, well, first, what do we got here? First of all, we got a par three, it's about 190. Yeah. So a couple things you have to do. There isn't a right or a wrong shot. Yeah. So you got 190 yards, the pin's back left, which would say, golf, you could hit a draw in there, great, but what shot do you feel comfortable hitting? Do you like to fade it? Do you feel like you're drawing it? Mm -hmm. So if we were out here playing today, you know, what shot do you feel comfortable with? So right now, yeah. what, what, what curve would you feel good with? Uh, drawing slash pulling, I guess. Okay, okay, yeah. fine. That's fine. Yeah. See, that's here's really here. honestly what's happening. Yeah. No, no, no. You have to be honest with yourself. Oh, yeah. If you're going to play golf, folks, it's not about what you should do, it's what you can do. Mm -hmm. Here's where people get in trouble playing is they try to make themselves hit shots they can't hit. Mm -hmm. Well, you're going to hit it bad. Yeah. Because you, you're not comfortable with it. You have to be committed. So you got to get committed to something. So you're just saying that a little pull draw is what you're comfortable yep. with. Okay, so I want you to tee the ball up. Okay. Now, it looks pretty scary on the left hand side, so I'm going to tee more on this side. That's, well, traditionally. If you're going to hit a draw or anything, you should hedge to the left because that gives you a better angle and more room. People who fade the ball will tend to get on the right side of the tee. But now, wait a minute, you're already, you've already screwed yourself up. Okay. All right, listen. Yeah. Now, here's the deal, folks. What you have to do, here's what good players do. So you just said, pull draw yeah all right before you ever go up to that ball then you see pull draw now yeah. you have to stand here and make a couple of swings where you make the swing that you're gonna make when you hit the ball okay yeah. so you have to feel it you can't yeah. just see it. you got to make the swing and say okay there's the swing I want and you got to feel yourself doing it now in this arena right here you can stand here and you can do practice swings you can do whatever you want to do back here yeah. back here yeah but you're trying to get a feel for that shot you were just gonna hit mm -hmm. once you get the feel for that shot all right now when you walk up to the ball you would agree with this road runner now when you walk up to the ball all you're gonna do is aim the club and now as you're swinging there's no verbal communication here okay. it's not keep your head down turn your shoulders it's all feel but the feel is still in your mind and in your fingertips because you hit yeah. that shot haven't you in my life, yeah. Well, a few times? Yeah. So you get up there, you make a practice swing to feel the shot. Yep. Okay? Mm -hmm. So make your practice swing. Now you know what shot you want to hit. Mm -hmm. So now make your practice swing to hit the shot. Okay, now as soon as you feel it, you got it? Mm -hmm, I got it. Okay? Walk up and aim it. Now all I want you to do is you aim it, now duplicate the feel. This is all about feel now. Feel the motion of it. It's not positions. Just okay. feel the motion of what you just did. Oh, oh my God. Hole in one. Uh, did it get there? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, now here, here's what's interesting. Yeah. Everybody, when you here's what you have to learn in golf on the golf mm -hmm. course. There's three emotions you can have. Yeah. You can be happy. Yeah. You can be sad. Uh -huh. Or you can be neutral. Flat. Yeah. Okay, now neutral is an emotion. That doesn't mean you don't care. Yeah. It means you hit the shot and after you hit it, you watch it, you observe it, you learn from it, and you either go, I really like that, and so you you hold, you replay it in your mind, or you go, hey, I got a little ahead of that one. You turn around and make a practice swing and fix it. But it can't the shot hit well or not hit well yeah. can't determine happy and sad. The, the result out there doesn't yeah. matter yeah. it doesn't matter yeah. and here's why that's important if you get up and you hit a ball and you hit it well and you're happy and you hit it bad and you're sad that puts too much pressure on you yeah. as you're making a swing because uh -huh. the happy endorphins you want those yeah. so now you're anxiety ridden because you want to hit it well yep. no 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 that's not what we're doing here mm -hmm. we're picking a shot we're picking a swing we're tying into the motion and then we watch it we don't react emotionally okay we react we learn from it Good, we maintain the feel, and if it was off, you turn around and you make a practice swing and you move on. So, yep, that one I felt like the, the result was good, I just felt like it was uh, a little not the feel I was trying to get. So, you should have sure. turned around and said, Well, I drove you actually got out ahead of it, I which did. is why yep. I went so low. Yeah, 
So you should have made a practice. I said, well, yeah, I really wanted to be here. Yeah. And then once you go, well, there's where I wanted to be, okay, now we're done. Yep. Okay. Right, now we're going to go on to the next. That's how good players play. Yeah, you see that on TV. And that's they do it instinctively. All right, so 192 or so yards. Uh, what do you got here? Five iron. And I'm going to hit it at that tree, that big tree in the middle of the green, and try to hit a little draw in yep. there. Wow. I wish. Well, maybe I will put a little pro tracer on that because that moved really nicely. You got the shape you wanted. Yeah, really I mean, nice. I hit that really well. I drew it a little bit more than I wanted to, yep. but I hit the ball well. The wind so, kind of picked up as you hit it. Yeah, yeah. So, so I got about 20 feet from the hole, made a good swing, turned it over a little more than I wanted to. But that for me, are you going to do a are you going to do a swing now? No, because that, Cause felt that was pretty, pretty good. good. Basically, what you were trying to. Yeah, accomplish. yeah. So, so I'm good. So to you go. don't need to replace an, a, a good feeling. Yeah. Right. I'm I'm remembering what it felt like. So I'm remembering what that swing felt like because I hit the ball solid and it it curved almost exactly the way I wanted did, it yeah. to. I just it curved the wind got it a little bit. So I'm on the edge of the green. All right. 15 feet. Yeah. Okay, so this game out here is first about what shot are you comfortable hitting? Then getting committed to the shot and making a practice swing where you can feel the shot actually happening. Yeah. And then get up to the ball and duplicate the feel. Don't yeah. communicate what to do, duplicate the feel, then evaluate what happened, fix it or enjoy yeah. it and go on. I had some tr problems recently, especially as an adult learner of the game. One pro was telling me, hey, when you go to hit the ball, be completely mindless. Just do your normal swing, be completely mindless. And I hit the worst shots being totally mindless. No, 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 no. Yeah, I like this non-verbal, but definite, because I need a feel. I do, I, I've learned that I do need no, a we, feel. We all do. Yeah. You have to see the guys who say, see the shot, see the ball, walk up and just turn your mind off and swing. Oh, yeah. Well, I can promise you, I yeah. tried that and the ball goes sideways. It does, yeah. You have to tune into a feel of you actually accomplishing mm -hmm. the shot. You have mm -hmm. to feel yourself doing yeah. it. And once you feel yourself do it, then you go up because now you've programmed your neurological system yep. to make that move. Yep. Now you go up and allow yourself to duplicate the feel. Okay. That's how you play. Cool. Hey guys, thanks for watching that. That was part one in a multi-part series. I think there's three parts to it of Mike and I out on the course and uh, lots of interesting stuff that we went through as we played a couple holes out at Superstition Mountain. Mike was involved in this thing called the Source of Power, which a lot of you have heard about. It's really worth your time to check it out because Mike, in his part, talks about a way to swing with a lot of power and not have any pain while you do it. The type of uh, golf swing that he promotes that will not break your body down, basically. It's really interesting in Mike's part of the Source of Power which is four different instructors, all like-minded about how power is really created in this way. It's really cool, you guys should check it out. So, the link for it is in the description below. Subscribe to this channel, I'll talk to you later. Bye.